where we're following through on the price of paradise and the crisis that condo owners are facing with rising costs. Yesterday, we told you that Governor DeSantis said that the state needs to find solutions. Just so everyone's clear, we have to act this year. We can't punt this. Talking about a special session potentially, and we ask you to share your voice and the problems that you're seeing as the state continues to grapple with what to do after legislation put into place and signed by the governor because of the Surfside collapse a few years ago. Here's what you said. One condo owner wrote in part, quote, the insurance crisis and the recent condo legislation is making it unaffordable to stay in my home. Unfortunately, because of these issues, the condo market is tanking and my home investment does not afford me the opportunity to sell and move elsewhere. Another viewer told us our complex in St. Pete has more for sale and rent than the past recession. The condo law is correct for requiring reserves to be fully funded, but the due date for full funding should be extended five more years. And tonight, ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell listening to local condo owners who tell us the rising fees are now forcing them to make some very difficult decisions. It's hard to beat the picture-perfect views from Al Windsor's home. He's owned his family's condo in Tierra Verde for about four years with the idea to simplify life and start traveling. But now it's, you know, things have just been going up and up and up, so we're kind of thinking, was it the right decision or not? He, like other condo owners, has noticed rising costs. And just with the insurance things that happened, when we looked at buying this, it was four fifty a month for the condo fee. First month we moved in here, it went to five fifty. After a year, it went to seven fifty. Now it's at nine fifty, and with the new reserve requirements, they're talking about it going to eleven, twelve hundred dollars a month. We've reported here on ABC Action News how after the Surfside condo collapse, the state legislature passed a measure requiring condo buildings to complete costly inspections and make repairs to keep buildings safe. That deadline fast approaching by the end of this year, leaving condo owners scrambling to fully fund their reserves. There's no difference in what we live in in a townhouse that's a uh, homeowners association or a, or a three story single family house. I mean, we're basically built the same way. Several people wrote into ABC Action News echoing similar uh, problems. So. Right. Windsor tells me to be in compliance with the legislation. His building did inspections, which cost each condo unit owner about $500 a piece. He doesn't know yet if there will be any special assessments, which I would mean, mean more money. I think they need to kind of look at it a little closer and say, what are more high risk places in which in which units actually fit into that kind of criteria. And while the state weighs solutions while balancing safety, some condo owners are left wondering how they'll balance the bill. And if it keeps going up at the rate it's gone up, we're not going to be able to afford to live here. In Pinellas County, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.